So, you know, TalPET is a really exciting new imaging approach and technology. Um, we've really just been uh, beginning to see that data come in over the last couple of years. Um, Tau itself seems to be a, a quite complicated target. Um, so because of that, um, there's many different ligands that are available now, and it seems like every year there's a new PET ligand that, that is becoming available. Um, so from the field perspective, there's a lot of kind of data that needs to be eval evaluated with respect to, to tau imaging. Um, tau imaging is, is critical because we know that the deposition of tau and the emergence of tau is a very close um, predictor of decline in clinical status. So from a diagnostic perspective and from the ability to measure the disease um, over time, we really need something like this to help us. Um, but like I said, it's that there are many different tau ligands that are available and we're at these, this stage in the field where we need to evaluate these different tau ligands. Uh, so we're presenting some work on one of these uh, newer tau ligands, um, uh, PI2620. It's uh, a compound from Pyramol, Pyramol that was just presented last year for the first time. Um, so we've been evaluating that compound in the context of eight older normal individuals in mild cognitive impairment and also Alzheimer's disease to understand what the distribution of this ligand looks like and to determine whether or not this might be a promising tool for, for tau PET imaging. Um, so we're evaluating that and then uh, some other data that's been presented here that is um, uh, that looks quite promising is the Merck, there's a Merck compound um, as well that's been exciting to see that data. Um, the, the most widely used compound is AB1451 uh, Flortausapir, um, and at this point, you know, mint, hundreds of scans have been collected, and we've seen a lot of exciting data um, on that compound as well here.